Alrighty then, thank you for joining us at Love Them Knives, and we are not as bright, are we? We're outside, but it's overcast, so that worked well. You know, best laid plans of mice and men. The we yucca or y-u-c-h-a however you want to pronounce that good size knife carbon fiber on both sides nice symmetry there backspacer with an integrated lanyard hole very nice i like it big knife and i was attracted to the blade design i'm kind of a sucker for a harpoon style and that is definitely a harpoon style. And look at this compound grind. This is craziness. Love this hole here. Uh, front choil for sharpening and going forward, right? So that's nice. And yeah, great action. Ceramic bearings, ceramic detent. Ah, uh, yes, we knives. About 3.9 inch blade, 100 millimeters, over eight and a half inches overall. It's supposed to be about 8.7 inches. So let's check that real quick. Yeah, almost a four inch blade, 100 millimeter, mm, eight and a half and maybe a 16th over that. Not quite 22 centimeters overall. So pretty good size. Pretty good size knife. Stone wash blade. Got the old same kind of cutaway hole as the ignition and the wee vapor and that kind of thing, but comes in handy, doesn't it? Yeah, that way you don't have to use the flipper tab. You can use just the hole and kick it open that way. And you know, that's nice. That's nice. I don't mind that at all. See how they've kind of rounded the spine here? Nice piece of finish work there. Some jimping on the top of the, of the uh, blade here. And it's decent. It's pretty smooth, but it's, it, you can feel it. Easy to disengage the liner lock, and that's about a 30% lock up, but the liner is easy to disengage. Good pass through for that. And of course you got titanium anodized hardware, titanium milled pocket clip. Good size knife. Hey, fancy, what? You're not fancy, who are you? <laughs> ah, fancy, taking a vacation date, really? An epic fail, right? There you go, come on. And so, yes, it's not that much bigger. I mean, the blade is technically, and this should look smaller in that aspect ratio. It'll look a little bit bigger in this one, like that. So it's bigger than the PM2, PM2 being eight and a quarter. And this is over eight and a half. So it's not a huge difference in size. And what are you? Brownie, we can call you Brownie, might as well, it's an easy name. Okay, so, yeah. I like it, the action's really smooth on this knife. And got it in this box, right, hold on. The 810, A, A is in blue. So, you know, it comes in this uh, box, and I don't know which end I, clipped open. Let me look around this end. I only take one end open. Uh, sometime later, I'm going to sell it off. So there's the pouch. Inside the pouch, you get so much silica gel packs. I mean, it's just groceries for a month. And here you go. We Knife Company, the microfiber cloth, and of course the plastic with the little pouch area where it all slides into, right? So that's pretty cool, but it's a good size knife. So even though like the vapor and uh, all that have the same kind of hole here, it's not, that's about where it all ends, the similarities. 
So hopefully you can catch some of this. I actually have a studio light like up that direction and it's giving me almost no additional light because it's daylight out here. It's just, you know, well, I mean, it's daytime. No, no direct sunlight though today. So, but it's so nice. I mean, this is June, should be 105, right? High today, 85. So we're loving it. That's why we're outdoors. In any case, back to the knife, backspacer with jimping on it. Ergos, good in the hand. I don't know who the designer is on this. Um, it didn't say on the Blade HQ info and I couldn't find any about this anyhow. Uh, otherwise, so I don't know, maybe an in-house design. Uh, but the action is really great. I mean, it just, look at that. I mean, that's just bingo, bingo. Just look at that. Nice. Okay, can you read the scale at least? Let's see how that works. And we're at zero. And what are we on? Grams. So we're at 124 grams, which isn't a lot. And I'm looking down through my camera, and I ain't seeing very good uh, through there anyhow. But let's go. I'm telling you what it is, so I guess maybe that'll have to work. And 4.38 ounces. So... That's pretty light. That's pretty light for a knife like this. Now, I don't know. Um, I'm looking through there just like you are. You seeing anything? No. Although, you know, these are pretty thin um, liners here. And then the carbon fiber over the top. So what are you going to do? Not like they were going to skeletonize those liners, I guess. But well finished. Feels good in the hand. Look at that. Detent, about typical for almost all these flippers I've been reviewing. Uh, five. You know, somewhere between a five and a five and a half. This doesn't seem like it's got a lot of mass, so I don't know. I'm going to take it out around here. Oh, yeah, I can flip it. Okay, I can gravity flip it. So, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Five. But you know, it's it's action is so nice. I mean, I wouldn't want any more detent, especially if you're gonna do this, right? Because uh, if the detent's too hard, then it's hard to finger flick it, especially with this hole being so close up against the scales and so far forward. I mean, you got all this blade back in here. It'd be easier if, you know, if that if there was a groove that continued and you could kind of catch it in in here but coming way up front you're trying to leverage a lot of blade out of there so if that if that detent was any tougher look at yeah if that detent was any tougher you couldn't even do that it's you know you kind of got to be ready for that and you can open it like that well the good thing is you're not pushing on a frame lock so there you go. Still not real easy. This is the preferred way, I guess, for me. Wow. But I like the carbon fiber. It looks really good. Looking for voids, looking for voids. Well, they have a way of uh, filling those, so wouldn't know for sure, right? I mean, when I was talking to Steve up at Blades We Love, so... Um, yeah, good look, seamless, it's the right color, big blue and bearings, it's LTK's delight, isn't it? Yeah, nice, nice piece. All right, what do you think? Make your comments below, but yeah, I like the blade shape and everything, it's really cool feels pretty sharp so yeah I can't remember if I did a cut test before but I didn't pull any paper out here to go slicing through so we're gonna leave that one alone today Woo! boy the actions really nice on this 
Yeah, S35VN though, it's not M390. And if you want the actual stats from like Blade HQ 8.7 inches, and it's supposed to go for 253 apparently, it's in stock. In any case, 3.9 inch, uh, three and a half inch cutting length, uh, S35VN, blah, 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 harpoon, and all that. Oh, and come to think of it, right? We could always check this out, and I let me make sure I'm zeroed. Okay, so 15 millimeters is pretty thick, six tenths of an inch, and this should probably be around four millimeters, and it is about four millimeter thick blade. So, yeah, it's it's a lot in the hand. It is, and if you didn't pause and read the rest of this. Handle material, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if there's anything else that's really of terribly wonderful value for you. You know, kind of your typical pitch. But tip up right hand, obviously, 4.38 ounces. That's That checks out. So, made in China, of course, by We Knife Company. So, yeah. Check it out. Got the jimping along here. The pass through is really easy. Liner lock, good thing. You don't have the ability to Im impede the deployment because you're not touching the lock bar here. So, I mean, I really like that. Plus, it allows for symmetry with the carbon fiber on both sides, especially if you're gonna put a full slab on the front side, on the presentation side, I'm really tired of the back side just being plain titanium on a lot of knives. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm all good. I'm all good with that. What do we got? Flanagan, you gonna hang in? Finian and Flanagan. They decide they'd show up. Hey, it's a nice day. They like it outdoors too. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Maybe one of my quickest reviews. The Yucca by uh, Wee Knives. Good knife, big knife, smooth. A lot of good things about it. I like the blade design. I like the overall feel in the hand. The ergos are great. Even reverse grip feels good. Uh, this, is, uh, this is really nice. I think they did a really good job on this knife. All right, gonna let you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp, my friends.